Rosie, Flynn, and 87546 were relaxing. I know that the best way to have a good day is with a story, puffed Rosie. Flynn and 87546 agreed. This is the story Rosie told the two engines. It was one great day on the South Sodor Railway. We were taking passengers and freight like normal. One day, Sir Bob Jackson came to the sheds to make an announcement to his engines. Randy needs help with passengers and freight, so I bought a tank engine for the job, he said, and Sir Bob Jackson left. After Jason returned, he saw an LMS-3F at the sheds. Jason, meet John. He'll be helping Randy with his jobs, said Sir Bob Jackson. All right, sir. John, please come with me, Jason puffed. Jason found it hard getting to John. Please, wait until everything is ready, Jason puffed. John refused to listen, and he left. Many say that while some people waited for their train, they would hear John's grumbling while he was coming down the line. When John stopped at the station, Sir Bob Jackson waited for him. John, I've been getting complaints about you bumping the coaches every four minutes. I'm left now with no choice but to put you on freight work, he said. After John was uncoupled, he left the coaches for Cassie to take over the train. John was coupled up to his train and he pulled them backwards. When they got to a hill, John bumped the troublesome trucks, and this was their final straw. We'll pay him out for bumping us, they said. Halfway up to the top, the cars let their brakes off, leaving John in shock as the train ran backwards. Cassie saw John coming by with the troublesome trucks pushing him. Well, he's getting his just desserts, she puffed. John knew he was crossing over the bridge to a yard. After John was switched into a siding, he left the rails, crashed into a fence, and after he stopped, his train piled up. Jason pulled into the station when the station master ran up to him. John's off the line at a siding. Leave this train for Max and collect a crane and workmen, he said. Jason was uncoupled, then puffed away. Jason then arrived at the scene of the disaster. I think that you should have taken my warning about waiting until everything is ready seriously, he said as the workmen got started. After John was re-railed, Jason buffered up to him and pushed him to the sheds. 
Later, Sir Bob Jackson was waiting for them. Jason, go and have a new coat of paint, he said. John, you are a disgrace to the line because of your attitude. You did not listen to Jason trying to help you, said Sir Bob Jackson. I'm sorry, sir, puffed John. Knowing the way your attitude goes, if we repaired you, you wouldn't learn anything from your experience. You are going to be left in a disused siding to be taken apart and used as a part source for the others. Good day to you. At first, he thought Sir Bob Jackson was joking. John soon realized when he really was shunted into a disused siding to be taken apart to fix the others, puffed Rosie. 87546 agreed. I wish that happened to Zack because of his behavior to you. Flynn replied, Flynn replied, and the three engines laughed.